Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy snowman ornament. You're going to need acrylic paint, craft felt, some glue such as hot glue or thick and tacky glue, some skinny ribbon, a small gourd, light bulb, or ball ornament to use as the base. I'm using a gourd that I've painted white. You're going to need a couple small red sequins and a scrap of green paper. Now the first thing you need to do is paint your ornament white and then you're going to use a little bit of orange paint with a flat brush. Make sure your ornament or your gourd is dry first and just paint on a, a couple little lines to make the carrot nose. You don't have to do anything fancy. It's basically like a long skinny wiggly triangle. You want to make sure you have nice coverage here and uh, then we're going to work on the eyes and the easiest way to paint eyes is to use a pointy q-tip and a little bit of paint. I am just kind of dipping it and rolling it in the bluish green paint and I'm stamping on the eyes. Now a little tip is to put the eyes close together because that just makes anything look extra cute. I'm not exactly sure why, it just makes it look kind of like a cute baby snowman or something. I don't know, but it works. The next step is to use another pointy q-tip and dip it in some black paint and we're going to stamp on kind of like coal for the mouth. Kind of like if you're making a snowman and you'd stick rocks in the face for the mouth. That's what we're doing here. Now if you find that it's kind of thin in parts, you can go back over and uh, re-stamp. Just make sure that you cover it good and you make it kind of irregular because it is supposed to look like rocks. Now take a skinny round brush and paint on some details with your black acrylic paint. I'm going to put in eyebrows and also a couple pupils into the eyes so our snowman looks nice and friendly. They're so adorable. Now a tip for letting this dry, find anything like a little palette or an egg crate or a small cup, something you can set your gourd or ball ornament in to dry where it's not going to roll around. Now I took a piece of craft felt in the color red, you could use whatever color you like, and I uh, just cut it into a circle, I traced a lid here, and then cut a slit into the center so I'll be able to roll it up into a cone. But before I do that, I want to secure my ribbon hanger. So I just have some really narrow ribbon, it's an aqua blue because I like that combination. And I'm putting a little bead of glue on the inside of the hat, so I'm going to be able to hide the ends of my ribbon. I have a ribbon that's a little too long here, so I'm just going to trim it and then trap the ends right on the inside of the hat in that glue. Sometimes it's difficult to elegantly put a hanger on an ornament after the fact. If you can hide it indiscreetly at the beginning, then um, your ornament's going to look so much more professional. So there we go. Now we can roll up our hat, our little cone. And since my glue is still a little wet, I can actually just kind of secure it that way. So once I have it about the right size, I am simply going to press it down that glue really well and trim away any of the excess felt. And I can always save that felt, maybe make a, another hat for another little ornament later. So keep your scraps, they always do come in handy. And after we do that, we can think about embellishing our hat. I grabbed these pom-poms the last time I was at the dollar store. And I have to tell you that the dollar store can be a tre treasure trove of craft supplies this time of year. That bag of pom-poms was, of course, a buck, um, but they also have jingle bells and other fun things that you can find too. So I'm always on the crafty lookout whenever I'm um, at any sort of store, whether it be a dollar store, the grocery store, or the hardware store, because you can always find some good things. And there, the pom-pom kind of stuck in between both sides of of the ribbon hanger so it looks nice and neat. Now I took another piece of uh, white felt, it was just a scrap from my scrap fabric bin, see, save your scraps, and that's going to be kind of the fleece uh, rim of my hat. Now before I adhere it, I want to make sure that the hat is going to fit the gourd well and it's not going to cover up any of the face. So I just kind of set it on there and I realized if I glued that part of the hat down to the gourd first, then I can add the fleece rim and it's going to look a lot neater and then I won't accidentally make it too low. So I'm just putting in a bead of hot glue on the inside. Now if you are doing this with kids, you can use tacky glue. Please don't feel like you have to use hot glue if you don't like to. That is totally fine. Now it fits really nicely on the top of my gourd and now I can simply add the little fleece trim because I think a Santa hat on a snowman is just too cute and I love it. So to make sure I have it the right size, I've trimmed it after measuring it around my gourd. Now I'm going to adhere it starting at the center in the front. Now if I do it that way, it's going to make sure my seam is in the back so it will look extra neat and tidy. Once you have it arranged just the way you want it, add a nice generous bead of glue all the way around the hat so you can trap down the ends. There, I think that looks really nice. Just gently press the felt into the glue so it sticks. 
Now I wanted to embellish this hat, so I put a little dab of glue down and stuck in three small red sequins. That's another craft supply I always have on hand. And since I did use hot glue, which I don't recommend for this point because you may burn your hands off because it's really, really hot, I'm using the end of my paintbrush to kind of press those sequins into the uh, the glue there. Now I have a bunch of old paper punches when I began scrapbooking, and one is an oak leaf, but I find that when I punch the oak leaf out of green paper, it makes a perfect holly or mistletoe, or at least close enough. So I'm adding some of those behind the sequins. I put five in to make it nice and full. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not always already a subscriber <laughs> always a subscriber I hope you're always a subscriber and also click on that more Christmas tutorials button so you can find some more fun Christmas projects and cards to make with your family thank you so much for watching please share this on Pinterest Twitter wherever you share things I surely am appreciative of that um, thanks so much for watching and as always happy crafting